Hey guys, Dirt here. Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new comic book coming out today, and that is Jericho uh, Season 4, Issue 1. Now, a lot of you may not be familiar with Jericho other than you know it's a TV show that kind of came and went away, and beyond that, you don't really know a whole lot about it. To be honest with you, I didn't watch it at the time either. It's one of those shows I discovered later. I didn't want to watch it back in the day because it had Skeet Ulrich in it, and just watching him in anything just seems wrong. The guy's name is Skeet. Skeet. Skeet Skeet. Ulrich. Right. So I didn't really watch it back in the day, and it was kind of hard to get into because the first, you know, three or four episodes are really kind of iffy. Uh, but once it starts taking off, it gets to be really good. And why? Well, it's a post-apocalyptic story. Uh, basically, a bunch of uh, nuclear bombs go off around the United States, and the country uh, gets split. And it splits into basically three parts. Uh, it splits down the Mississippi, and then Texas uh, stands alone. And the new allied states of America take over the western part of the United States and wage war on the uh, United States of America that remain on the eastern side of the Mississippi. And Texas just kind of playing the field, seeing how it's going to go, as Texas usually does. Now, one thing that's great about this book is that it continues the storyline. There was a season three series that you uh, should probably pick up because the TV show went season one, season two, and then the writers of the series turned it into a comic book. Uh, so season three was a lot of fun. They tracked down Joseph Smith, who was the guy responsible basically for coming up with a plan on how to destroy America. And for him, he thought it was uh, you know a good exercise in trying to figure out how the stuff's going to work. Little did he know that they were going to make it into an actual event. Once it actually happened, though, he's extracted and brought by the rebels. And the rebels uh, are the people who live in the town of Jericho. They don't like what's going on in the United States after the war. So this issue finds uh, John Smith integrating himself into Jericho. He's got a uh, new identity. He's finding his place in the town. Uh, we find how the rest of the townspeople are doing, uh, some of the things that have happened. Some time has passed since the last series. Uh, one of the key things going on, though, is the further political intrigue of the uh, civil war that's going on in this world. And we find that the Allied States of America have set up these, uh, basically, satellite relay places all along the border, and the rebels are going to go in and destroy them in the hopes that uh, an uprising will occur within the Allied States to try to bring them down down and reunite the United States. Now, I don't know if it's really going to work in the long run. Probably not, because that would kind of wrap up the series and be the end of it, but it's fun. I love these political-type thrillers where it's really about politics, not really about, you know, like Republicans, Democrats, but like real politics. Uh, and so an ongoing civil war in the United States is a fun read. Well, fun in, you know, a ghoulish type of way, I guess. But seriously, though, if you haven't read three... Uh, you can go out and pick it up. Uh, it's still pretty cheap for most retailers. Uh, they've got it in stock. They uh, collected the first three issues into one volume, and then you can pick up the last three issues separately. They did a trade paperback of them. There's a lot of ways to get your hands on them. Uh, and even if you didn't watch the TV show, you can start out with season three, pick it up pretty easily. Season four, uh, they do a really good job of laying out all the characters. If you've never seen the TV show, you can probably pick it up, although I'd still recommend finding those back issues. But still, Jericho, season four, issue one, worth every penny. Available in print and digital today.